Hello, my name is Nick Golden from MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be checking out M-Title Cinematic for Premiere Pro. Let's get started. To locate M-Title Cinematic, head over to Essential Graphics on the right side of the Edit tab and click Browse. You'll see here that all of the titles load in automatically after installing an M-Installer. And there are tons to choose from. These are really great. We use them all the time. Now that we've gotten an overview of all these titles, let's see what we can make with it. Let's start by choosing a title and adding it to our sequence. I want to set up my first shot with a paragraph of text, so I'm going to choose this M title cinematic number 50. To apply, simply click, drag, and drop onto your sequence. Once you dragged it in, let's retime it to exactly where you want it to end. I want mine to end around the two second mark, so I'm going to adjust to match. Now that I've retimed it, let's go and edit what it does. To do so, head over to Essential Graphics and click Edit. First of all, you can turn Animation In and Out off if you wish. For this example, I'm going to leave Animation In on, but I'm going to turn Animation Out off because this shot dramatically cuts to black and I want the title to match. To do so, I'm simply going to click Animation Out Off. You'll see here that if we preview it, it'll dramatically cut to black at the exact same time. Pretty cool. Other things that you can change in Essential Graphics is in your content. You could change the X and the Y position using these sliders. You could change the content scale by simply scrolling, or you can also type in your scale if you wanna be very precise. I'm gonna leave it right here at 100 for this example because I just really like it. Finally, you could change your opacity all the way down or up or something in between. And next down in title, you can change what it says. You can change the font. You can change the font size. All of it is perfectly customizable. You can also change the font color if you wish. And finally, there are options for shadow. You can turn the shadows on and off. You can change the shadow opacity, shadow distance, and shadow softness if you wish. For the most part, I really like how this one looks already. So let's move on and add another title. Central to do graphics so, tab and let's click head back browse. over to our... This M title cinematic number 48 is really cool. It has the laurels like you see in normal films. To apply, simply drag and drop onto your sequence. Once in your sequence, let's go ahead and retime it exactly where we want it to go. I like it retimed right about there. Let's go and adjust it a little bit. To do so, let's head over to essential graphics on the edit tab and let's click content. I wanna scale this content up just a little bit, so I'm gonna scale it up until it's at 137. To do so, I can simply either drag or simply type in 137. Other things that you can do to this title is change what it says by going down to title. You can see right here where it says best feature film. You could select and type anything you want. You can change the font and the font style and size, but I'm actually gonna leave this the same for this. What I do want to change, however, is to turn off the subtitle. This is super easy. All you have to do is go down to subtitle and you can do it multiple ways. I'm just going to turn down the opacity for this one, but you could also leave it on and just delete the words movie festival 2020 and it'll be gone as well. Going further down, you can also change the leaf color. You can change it to anything you want and you can also change the position whether you want it closer or further away from the words best feature film. Finally, you can add shadow if you wish. For this shot, we don't need it because it's black background. And you can turn off the background just like our last title. I'm going to turn it off because I already have a black background for this one. And while I really like this title, I want to go ahead and stack another one under it because these titles can be used with each other at the same time. To add another title, let's go back to browse and let's pick one. I like this M title cinematic number five, so I'm gonna click and drag and drop onto our sequence. Let's go ahead and head to content and let's move it down on the Y position using this slider. Next, I'm gonna scale this down because I want it to be similar in size to the best feature film title. And now I'm gonna bring it back up a little bit now that I've scaled it. 
Next, I want to change what the title says a little bit. So I'm going to go to title. And you can see here, there's a lot we can change with this one. The first thing I want to do is to remove the red on the on a true part of based on a true story. To do that, I can simply click this red and change the color to what I want. I'm just going to change it to white for this. You can see now it automatically changes. And finally, the last thing I want to do is remove the three dots at the end of this title. This is just a good example of how you can change your title to whatever you want. I'm just going to remove the three dots. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. Let's check out a few more titles. To add another title, let's head back over to Browse on Essential Graphics. And let's scroll down until we find one that we like. Here's another cool one, M Title Cinematic number 45. Let's go ahead and add it in. To apply, simply drag and drop. I like it right about there. And let's start off by editing it again. Now for this example, I wanna go down and click title. And I wanna change it to simply director for this example. And the next thing I wanna change is go to our subtitle and let's change the font. I want to change it to Lotto and I'm going to change it to Lotto Thin. All right. I'm actually really happy with how that looks. I like how the two different fonts complement each other. Thanks for checking this tutorial out. M Title Cinematic for Premiere is now available on motionvfx.com. Subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.